with this guy, and in three hours, I think I put about six pages of notes together. Um, this dude is going to come and drop some insanely actionable content that you guys are going to go home, literally today, you might even leave the room as soon as he's done, and go implement some of the stuff this guy is gonna share with you. Like, I've never been coached or you know, spoken to by somebody like this that gives me so much actionable content. I'm super excited for this guy. I know he was sitting here watching all these guys up here for three minutes shaking. I think he's literally gonna sit up here and plank for the next 50 minutes while he gives his talk, just to make fun of these guys in their three minute planks. So without further ado, I wanna introduce you guys, John Cheplak. <laughs> Have I been clicking that thing? Wow, I've been clicking it. You know, I was doing some math back there, Kyle's sister. Hey, what's up? How are you guys? That was weak. <laughs> I was in the gym at 1 a.m. and did a mastermind from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. You know, there's an interesting thing. People talk about being tired. Tired isn't your problem. Energy's the issue. Get it? Okay, that's the piece. And you got to be excited about what you're doing. And, you know, people talk about a big old why. You know, there's a lot of people that write books and make a lot more money than me and get bigger speaking fees. Because you know what they do? They sell you shit that you buy. They don't sell you shit that works. Anyone ever been to that seminar? Everyone. So here's the one thing that I think I have a reputation for is bringing the absolute truth. So, you know, it's interesting. People talk so much about innovation, right? Innovation is not doing the next new thing. Innovation is doing what's already here and mastering it. I am very fortunate, not that I have the magic pill. I just have this thing of being fortunate to have the trust of some of the highest performers on the planet, okay? And you know what I'll tell you is this. They're not doing more, they're actually doing less. When I look at a business and someone wants to grow their business, the first thing that we take a look at is el elimination. And the theme is mastering it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through some stuff that you, know, you may have been told doesn't work, okay, or that it's passe, because here's what's really happening. The difference between the elite and everyone else, they're never distracted. Never distracted. Period. Anyone want to guess what their superpower is? Anyone know? The interactive part. I ask a question, you give an answer, focus. Absolutely. You know, one other question. See, you know, I was doing the math here, and there's Kyle says, Do you have, you know, you need more time? It's like, shit, I got 140 slides in 50 minutes. Yeah, I got enough time. I've got some content for you, but the, the critical thing that I want you to capture is this. The content isn't really what matters. The single most important thing for you to do is leave here and take action. You hear it all the time, but I can just tell you right now, that's the differentiator. But with that said, is there anyone here in the room that wants to increase their marketing, build authority, gain a larger footprint of their brand by spending less money? Raise your hand if you're down with that. Good, okay? See, here's the problem, you guys. That's how you're selling real estate. The douchebag script. Hi, do you or any of your friends want to buy or sell real estate? You know, the one that shows up at the party? Stop being the douchebag. It ain't going to fly no more, right? Raise your hand if you like to be sold. Oh, See, stop fighting human nature. Everyone wants to buy. No one wants to be sold. You need to write these things down because you know what? Your actions don't reflect that. Everyone wants to buy. No one wants to be sold. Here's another one I want to help you with too because you know what's interesting is it's finding, what you need to do is it's a message to market match. That's what we're trying to do. But the first part of that is understanding the psychology. And you know this one and it makes sense. The heart chooses, the mind justifies. 
The heart chooses, the mind justifies. So what I'd like you to do is go back, see, it's not like, you know, th that good old quote, well, there's a reason that the rear view mirror is smaller than the freaking windshield. It's another one of those stupid ass things they say to you that you buy into and it's not the freaking truth. Think about it. What are your greatest lessons? See, the only two things that you can share with me accurately is something that's happened in the past and something you don't like. That's where your future is. Your future's in your past. Are you guys with me on that? Is that making sense? Okay. So what you need to take a look at is, you know, what has worked, what hasn't worked. That's the key piece. I'm going to help you out right now. You want to be all things to all people. You'll be nothing to no one. You've heard these before, but you forget them because you're an innovator. And you're shooting past the target. And you're doing the next best thing. But you want to know what? It's always about the basics. Go back to the freaking basics. The heart chooses, the mind justifies. Now look at your scripts. The heart chooses, the mind justifies. Now look at your Facebook posts. The heart chooses, the mind justifies. Now look at the subject line of your email. Okay? Are you guys with me? Is this making sense? Yes or no? Absolutely. Okay? See, here's the other thing, too. Anyone here think that email kind of sucks and doesn't work? Okay? So we have 340 liars. Okay? Interesting, it's kind of a boring subject, but it's the number one ROI in marketing. And what I'm going to do is we're going to spend some time in email. We should go, wow, email is boring. It's not sexy. But here's what I want you to capture through my message today. I want you to capture principles. Principles. See, principles are universal. You can leave here without a script or a dialogue. See, I don't want to teach you a script or a dialogue. I want to teach you how to talk with people. Does that sound a little bit better? Yes or no? Sure. See, we're not in the information age. We're in the information overload age. They're tired of the freaking pitching them the softball. Here it comes. I mean, the recycled, outdated, cheesy dialogue. See, watch this. Here's the problem. Here's why email doesn't work. Here's why the scripts and dialogues don't work. You want to know why? Because we're doing a one-size-fits-all message. Let me help you with a marketing principle. Only five, and write this down. There's consideration and indifferent. Okay? 5% of the population in this city are in the consideration phase. What do I mean by consideration? It means that a conversation about buying or selling is relevant. Okay? Does that make sense? You guys understand what consideration is? So what happens is with something that, with that audience that's consideration, we can run conversion language at them. You know, the old principle used to be, it never hurts to ask. I got news for you. The game has changed. Today, it hurts to ask sometimes. Are you with me on that one, you guys? Okay? It hurts to ask. So here's what happens. See, the reason that your lists get burnt out and the reason that you're actually your sphere of influence, there's a couple things. Either you're not following up or if you're following up and not generating business from your past clients, your message sucks. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. The little calendar says, are you or any of your friends thinking of buying or selling? I mean, shoot me. It's fucking ridiculous, right? No wonder we have to grind and grind. So here's what I want to think about. You know, if you, I want you to think about, if you've been in the business for five years, right, and you're having to work just as hard as you did five years ago to make the same money, you have a problem. Get it? Okay, see, here's some other things I want you to write down. My responsibility is not to sell people. My responsibility is to create deep psychological and emotional bonds. Period. Deep psychological and emotional bonds. See, when I run conversion language at the 95% that are indifferent, what do I turn them into? This is the, that thing I ask a question, you give an answer. Annoyed. See, I'm, I'm irrelevant. When I'm talking to the 95% that are indifferent, see, you know who's killing it right now is the people that are write these two things down, educating and informing. Everything you put out there, educate and inform. Educate and inform. Now watch this. Am I going to miss the 5%? Am I saying get rid of the calls to action? No, I'm going to show you examples of where to use your call to action. But am I safer having a sweeping educate and inform and maybe demonstrate those three educate inform and demonstrate if i can capture one of them i'm winning if i can capture two or three of them in my facebook post in my email in my text message 
okay? By the way, I'm not going to go here, but I just want you to do this too. Think about your text messaging. When you leave here, just write this down. Two things. I want you to go back to your text message you've been sending. Ask yourself this. Did the last one I sent to someone, did it create curiosity? Did it create urgency? Or am I asleep at the freaking wheel? Right? Does that make sense, you guys? I mean, you've got to look at your language. See, every choice you're going to make today is based on the words you read and the words you hear. Stop being lazy. I'm going to show you how to laser beam in. See, my number one responsibility for you is this, okay, is to get your message right with the words you use, okay? So with that said, here's where the future of marketing is. It's getting your message right. But I'm going to show you some tricks. One of the things, yeah, magic pills. One of the things that I've learned after 32 years in the real estate industry is I said, you know what, I need to go outside this business. And I look at people that are spending dollars, like billions of dollars on marketing. Because last time I checked, people that are buying their product aren't Martians, they're still human beings, okay? Let me, and here's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a secret here. Write this down, okay? Not many people know this, but it's real secret. I'm gonna tell you who the number one competitor is in our real estate business. And it's kind of risky, because I'm gonna piss off all the other brands and models. Are you guys ready? Okay, Amazon. And it has nothing to do with them being playing around the real estate business. There and have created the expectation of today's internet empowered consumer. When you go home, screw Cowell Banker Century 21, Remax, EXP. They're not your competition. Are you with me? Do you trust Amazon's gonna deliver, yes or no? Can you get it right now, yes or no? Yes. Who's your freaking real competition? Amazon, it's like this, we talked about it this morning. You know who's shaping the type of content that you need to put out there on social media? Does anyone know? The Kardashians. You laugh. You pay for voyeurism. Yes or no? Yes or no? You're weak. The others are scared. 100% you do. What's the number one theme? See, here's what I want, I want to help you do in your thinking. Stop sitting in the freaking shallow silo of our real estate business. Start thinking on a global marketing and human behavior space. Does that make sense, you guys? Yeah. See, the Kardashians have shaped us to believe, you know what? I get to go to your social media, and if I don't see anything about you, I don't trust you. Because I get the privilege of knowing more. You want to widen your funnel? Guess what? Dog lovers in the room, raise your hand. Fucking weirdos. <laughs> I've got a freaking purse dog at home. It's my baby girls, but I love that little purse dog, man. Della. Okay? So, when's the last time you posted about your dog? It didn't go bananas, did it? Yeah, see, people are tired of real estate agent, real estate. Connect with people, man. I mean, we're so caught in these scripts. Connect at an emotional, psychological level. I mean, you know, your dogs, your fitness, you're living a whole life. Everything. Well, I don't want to share everything. That's okay. And I'm not saying you have to. But I'm telling you this. It's so easy today. I expect that. I can go to your Facebook page and learn a lot about you. And if I don't, I'm not going to trust you. Do you guys believe me? Yes or no? Yes. Here's the kicker, and we'll move on. Now today, do people Google you or do they go to your Facebook page first? You better go freaking look at your personal Facebook page and I want you to look at it tonight and tell me what it says about you, okay? Here's what we've gotta do, we gotta get the message right, okay? And I'm gonna take you into 2020 and beyond. See, watch this, I don't wanna use contrived language. What I wanna do is I wanna find out what your language is, I wanna echo it back to you. See, what we're trying to do with the cheesy, outdated dialogues is we're trying to operate through the conscious brain. The conscious brain thinks, the unconscious brain acts. 95% of what you've done right now to this moment is unconscious. What happens when I echo your words back to you? Get it? Okay? That's what I'm trying to do. So guess what? Stop telling people, start asking. And I'm going to take you in to a system and process that you can send out to your database, okay, and find out the words they use. So it's called the SMIQ. This is based on neuroscience. Instead of sitting back and wondering what should I say or some new script or dialogue, 
When it comes to X, what's your single most greatest, okay? Frustration, challenge, you've been struggling with, okay? X is where you reference the market. This is the SMIQ. So I did a little thing for y'all. When it comes to buying or selling a home, what's your single most greatest fear or concern? The only two things people can tell you is something that's happened in the past and something they don't like. True or false? You bet. So I'm going to take you through a little exercise. It's real easy. So we ask the question. So this is just simplifying it. See, I don't want to think of some contrived or outdated, reused, recycled scripts and dialogues. These are their answers. Now, that's not just one. We took 10,000 buyers and sellers, and we surveyed them. We asked them for their words. Then you use a little thing called a word cloud. And how many of you, watch this, I'm not going to do this. How many of you now looking would think that using the word house is going to convert better than the word home? Consumer tells us that. See, watch this. My, my responsibility is to get you to connect with people at the deepest level. You know what I want to do? I want to enter in the back of the brain. If I'm using your language that you use, echoing back your language, am I going to connect at a higher level? Yes or no? Get it? Is this making sense? See, now I've got 10,000 people that surveyed, gave us their responses. We put them in a word cloud, and the word cloud tells us, you know what? Watch this. See, our egos are so big that we think we know our people so well. Uh, I would never use the word deal with a buyer or seller. I was wrong. Anyone here feel funky about that word sometimes? Guess what? That's their word. Use people's words. Echo them back to them. In the subject line of an email. In the title of a blog post. In the headline. Listen to me. In the headline of a Facebook post. You best be doing every single post on social media, like it's a headline of the Washington Post. Because last time I checked, twice as many people log on to Facebook every single night at 8 p.m. as watch a Super Bowl ad worldwide. Did you hear that? It's where the eyeballs are, period. Your words matter, okay? The other piece, copywriting. Again, I want to bring you back to, so what I want you to think about is the consumer awareness journey. People talk the customer journey. We have an awareness journey, okay? And so each time, see what happens? I don't have to spend money. People have to spend money to get an audience and, and, and I mean, just totally annoy people because their language sucks. How about when I'm echoing your words back and then each piece of copy that I do, each post I do, each email I do meets the person that's unaware. The person that's unaware in the consumer awareness journey, they're not thinking of buying or selling. See, the only reason people want to buy or sell, okay, is escape and arrival. They want to escape a situation they're in and arrive at a better one. Make sense? Okay. And so those are the people where it's a market snapshot. You know, Kyle does this really, really well. The market snapshot, man, he's, he is just killing it with content amplification. Content amplification educates and informs. What he's also doing really well, okay, he's invoking the law of association. See, these are just ancient, simple principles, man. Go ahead and tell me you're an innovator and do everything half-assed. See, stop going wide, go deep. Get it? Stop going wide. Your message is diluted, and so is your connection. Okay? So it's unaware, problem aware. Okay? Solution aware, your solution aware. What are some of the problems? You know, outgrowing their home, neighbors, you know, the twin teenagers are beating the crap out of each other, and we need another bedroom. See, Think about your messaging. Logic is three bedrooms, two bath. Start talking about the experience. People don't buy shit, they buy the experience. People don't buy things, they buy the experience. People don't choose you, they choose the experience that you represent they're going to have with you. Are you guys all tracking with me on this stuff? 
So you got to focus on the right target. These are the, just the tiny hinges, man, that swing big doors. Stop trying to do so much big. It's just simple human behavior stuff. Okay? So we're going to, and, and these are some, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to skip past these. So what I do is watch this too. Stop guessing. These are some of the top searches, the key searches that have taken place. You know, it, wouldn't it be nice to know that, you know what, if I, if I go into YouTube, buy a house, which is owned by Google, and then I look at everything that's below it, I've got all of my freaking blog posts and subject lines for emails to write for the next year. Are you with me on that? It's all right there for you. See, every choice we make is based on the words we hear, the words we read every choice. Well, why not go instead of something oh, that sounded cool, I'm going to use it. Why not go to where the consumer is and grab the words that they're typing? YouTube right now probably is one of the top ones to type in searches that would be congruent with your clients because what it's going to down, boom. Okay. So these are some pieces right here. Look at some of the other language near me. Look at, look at how the, the tra trajectory of these searches too, okay? See, what you want to do, you look, at, you look at your Facebook posts, your Instagram posts. Every word you write matters. See, here's what's going on right now. Who has 1,000 people in their database? Okay, hands down. 5,000. 10. Okay, let's go back to the thousands. Here's what you're doing. Ready? Well, I haven't sent an email in a while. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, we'll send them that. Come get a pumpkin. Durr. Send some stupid ass shit out, okay? Here's what I want you to think about. I want you to think about your database. I don't care if it's 100 people. I don't care if it's 1,000 people. I don't care if it's 10,000 people. What I want you to think about is this. You're going to a stadium a week from today, and you're going to speak in front of them. That's how important every single message is you send in an email, because email, again, is the number one return on investments. It's a beauty, okay? And again, you know, we hear different numbers in our industry. I like to look outside the industry. Man, it's high touch, high feel. Now, here's what's really cool. Why it's high touch and high feel, what's really cool is this, is every time someone consumes a piece of my content, see, it's why the people that in video are going to smoke your ass and leave you behind if you don't step up. And I'm going to share with you why. I'm going to share you some statistical data that will freaking blow your mind. Okay? A, it takes a series of 24 touches now to get a client. That's just general across the board. Okay? That's just a general. Here's the next part, though. That's not going to be enough. Who's going to win? The person that's communicating with the right platform. Make sense? Okay? The one that connects at the highest level. So email sucks and spam. What I want to do is, is, you know, email typically isn't exciting and sexy, but you know something? You want to get people to consume your content, okay? This is the best way and cheapest way to do it. Um, take a peek there. People talk about spamming. Well, last time I checked, I hit that database of 6,000 people nine times in 30 days. Anyone see them open rates over there? 43%. Email doesn't work, does it? See, stop believing the myths. Get your message right. Can you see why we can get those type of email open rates? Would it be valuable if your email open rates and your nurturing doubled, yes or no? Huge. And guess what else happens too? The forwarding of your email goes up 400% when you take a screenshot of a video and you embed the video link in. Because you can't email a video. What you're doing is you're emailing a link to that video. Okay? It goes up dramatically, the shareability. So a couple things. It's a myth I want to debunk. You get your message right. Spam is not the frequency and how often you send something. Okay? It's based on how crappy your message is. Okay? Period. You can mail to people all day long. Watch this one. So we got aggressive on a smaller database here. And I just think it's really, really important. Because you know what? I want you to go back. Like Kyle said, you know, it's not about being big, big magic stuff, man. It is tiny hinges swing big doors. Tiny hinges swing big doors. You're aiming past and shooting past and landing past the target. Okay? 
We're hitting them every other day right there, and that's sitting in the, I don't know, 69, 70%, 73, 90%. Anyone want to get 70, 75% email open rates? Do you think that, raise your hand if that would impact your business, yes or no, okay? The rest got alligator arms or you're missing the boat. Okay? So, now you're really going to love me. See, there's trickery in everything. It's in analytics. You got to know the best days to send your email. Tuesday is the number one day. Okay? Thursday's number two. Here's what I would suggest you do. You send on Tuesday and Thursday. And this is only based on six billion email case study. Six billion. So it's real. Okay? The next one is this. Oh, how about the time of day? There's your, t- there's your top times of day right there to send. Okay? But you got to get your message right. Snap it quick, because i got to move quick. See, I got your asses moving, didn't I, now? <laughs> Y'all be like, shit. <laughs> right. Okay. Here's where the money is. I want you to think about this. It's critical, man. A lot of your emails aren't getting delivered. And i got news for you. Ready? Why are you making such a big deal about this boring, shitty subject email? Because we crush it in email. And because 75% of all human beings open their email before they get their ass out of bed every day. Does that resonate with any of you? Oh, so maybe I should check my message in my email, shouldn't I? See, here's the thing that we do. Our egos cause us to think we need to do something cool. And you know what all all of us really need to do? You need to just take this little thing called a mirror that sits at your at waist level and just hold it up to eye level and look at how you behave. And it'll probably guide you on what to do. Because our behaviors are pretty similar. You with me on that one? People check their emails, man, before they get out of freaking bed. They're on Facebook later. This is the one I want you to capture. You got three objections when you send, three things can happen when you send an email. You're going to the priority inbox. Okay, you're going promotion or you're going spam. Those are your three choices. Most of your stuff is going into promotion and spam. I guarantee you. I don't care what what your um, uh, email service provider says to you. You know, if you're using a system, and pro- of course, they're going to tell you the deliverability is high. Are they going to tell you otherwise? Go do some auditing of it. You'll find out different. Okay. Here's what I need you to know: is this new subscriber data day one hammer your people. Because it sends a message to that email address into the email service provider. Hammer them. It will open it. You could hit people with three or four emails day one. And what it does is it sends a message that you're not a spammer with that person. Are you just tracking with me? This is what happens. Okay? Open rate is dramatic day one. Just a pro tip there for you. Okay? So, subject lines, this is where it all gets really magical. Again, guess what I want to do? I'm going to make up something cool. No, I'm going to go to BuzzSumo, and I'm going to type in and look for the, the posts, anything that's been across the interwebs, okay, and what the number one engagements were. So, anything that you want to find out how the consumer is going, visit, go to BuzzSumo. It'll tell you. It's just like going to, see, what I want to do is stop the ready, fire, aim. Take your time. Like, oh, I'm going to post this now. Okay, knock yourself out. That copy is shit. No, oh, it doesn't work. No one can make money on Facebook. No, you got to you know, slow your roll. Okay? So BuzzSumo is a great tool for you to use. Okay? This one is gold. Little ninja thing for you all. It's called Answer the Public. Here's what Answer the Public does. It just only gives you every phrase that everyone types in based on its congruency with what you type in. You with me on that one? So I put in there, buy a house. Okay, you can put in there, sell a house. They're going to give you every variable of what people type in. That wouldn't be valuable to you, would it? No. No. You know, if someone's in here podcasting, if someone's doing Facebook Lives, if someone's doing videos that educate and inform the marketplace, okay? I've got everything that people type in. So just another great tool, answer the public. 
Here's some other critical pieces too, and I'll go through them really quick. Curiosity is important. This is the stuff that matters, every single word. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Go ahead and snap it. Get those suckers out because this um, PowerPoint self-destructs when I walk out of here. No shit. You think I'm joking. Dan might and Kyle might have a bribe, but we'll see. Maybe I'll let him keep it. But you got to wait till the end to find out. That's called future pacing. Did you know that? I'm going to help you out in your videos on that one too. Okay? So you got that one? Okay. And these are just for you to see because I got too many slides. Power words that appeal to fear. You got to choose fear. Test them though. Know your audience. See, don't be all things to all people. I know my avatar for my business. I'm doing the same thing you guys are doing. Okay? I recruit top teams, top broker owners to work with me and be a part of my community for coaching, for our masterminds. Okay? They recruit agents to join their team or join their brokerage. And you know what agents do? They recruit buyers and sellers, man. Write this down. We're all just in the enrollment business. Period. We're all just in the enrollment business. If you look at it that way and stop selling people and start learning how to just talk to people. Whoa, you know? And then one other, spam trigger words. Whoa. These are words that will trigger the email service providers. Okay. Agura Financial. One of the top online, see, we laugh, see, here's what's good. There's laughing that goes on, you guys. But see, this is the, these are the things the real estate industry doesn't teach us because it's, let's just, you know, recycle the same old shit because you'll keep buying it. Oh, did you hear that new objection handler? We ain't got to mess with objection handlers, man. When people, are, when our message is getting through, it's based in principle. We're making deposits in the business relationship equity account. You might want to write that one down. See, here's what you're doing. Here's why your scripts and your dialogues and all that crap don't work, okay? It's because you're going to an ATM machine with your ATM card and there's no money in the bank. Get it? But see, what a Kyle Whistle does is he educates and informs about the community, right? Get it? He's not the in-your-face buy or sell with me all the time, okay? Uh, Agura Financial, 70% of their emails that go out, financial services, their top financial services company. Would you say their demographic if they're selling financial services, if, if they're selling um, classes and courses on them? Would you say their demographic's pretty sophisticated, yes or no? Okay, 70% of their emails have a freaking emoji. So you might want to copy them, Okay. See, here, here are the two things you need to be, sophisticated and consistent. Can you see some sophistication in what I've been sharing with you so far? Yes. Okay. Emojis, baby. Here's the other thing. Here's some little trickery. Get rid of your salutations. Gone. Done. You've got the first three lines. Stop wasting your space. You've got 140 characters Oh, wait, 140 characters. That's right, because that's how the unconscious brain was programmed. See, that's what you got to think. I've got the first three lines to get action, man. Oh, dear John, I hope you're doing well. Screw that, man. I'm getting after it. Shit, no, man. You know what I'm doing? Listen, your subject not line needs to be the freaking headline of the Washington Post. And that first line of your email needs to be a subheader. Make sense? You guys know the difference? Okay? And here's what, your, here's what your subject line has to do. Here's what your blog post has to do. Here's what your Facebook post has to do. You have to open a loop of curiosity. You have to open a loop of curiosity. And what your content has to do is it has to answer it. And what you've got to get them to do is you've got to drag them along and get them to read downhill. Okay? Give you another strategy that I shared this morning. I'm not supposed to because it was in a high-level mastermind, but I, I'm going to break the rules. Here's what you want to do. Incomplete sentence in your subject line, and I want you to end it with dot, dot, dot. Anyone know what a dot, dot, dot is? That's called an ellipsis. What's an ellipsis tell people? There is more. It gets people reading downhill. 
see, here's the thing. Most of your posts, it looks like you barfed on it. Social media, it's just like this. Write this down. Spacing move. White space pulls the eyes in. White space pulls the eyes in. The unconscious brain looks at content and says, whoa, that's heavy. And I'm bouncing back and forth from email to social media, but these principles. You ever see that where you stop stacking all this crap in? It's like, whoa. I mean, listen, we're in the internet distracted world. You got three seconds to get people. I can't wait to talk to you about video. We're going to have real, a lot of fun on that. So does that make sense, you guys? You, you with me? So I'm gonna, my subject line is going to be a question. It's going to be how to do and dot, dot, dot. Shit. Well, the open loop principle. We want to close loops. The open loop principle. We want to close loops. And so then what I do when I get them reading, guess what the beginning of the first line is typically? Not in this one, but another example. Dot, dot, dot. I'm dragging them along. Not dear Sally, I hope the dog's good. Okay, dot, 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 you pull them along, but there's gotta be action in those first three lines, which is typically 140 characters. Make sense, you guys? See the difference in that email? Hey, Joe, John Cheplak, blah, 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 and that's my tagline thing, but did you, real estate market dramatic shift, did you hear what happened last month in the Seattle marketplace due to the shift in blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you want to drag them down. You got to get it read. And I'm giving you guys love, giving you the tricks. This is called the Hemingway app. It is not an app, but it's called the Hemingway app. Guess what grade level Agura Financial writes every single email in that they send out to financial services people? Second and third grade. You're talking over your audience with your college words. Stop with the college words. Here's what's beautiful. You're going to plug in every post. Just please, someone just take the time. Nail your copy, game over. I'm just telling you. Nail your copy. Sarah's such an epic example of it, man. She crushes her copy. I mean, just nails it. I mean, her marketing budget is embarrassing. I mean, I think some of the dollars she spends, it's just for sport. You know, because you're kind of supposed to. I mean, she doesn't fall into what you're supposed to, but it's like, eh. Let's see what this does. I think some of it may be for Sarah when she wants to test some language a little bit further. She don't need to spend a dollar and she'll sell 130 homes. And she doesn't buy leads. Interesting. Your words matter, don't they? See, Sarah is a very, very complex individual, okay? But would you notice the one thing with her? It's just... Consistent simplicity with inner complexity. Okay? She's not out chasing some new bright, shiny, shitty. I mean, she's, what she's doing, she's laughing all the way to the bank, selling 111 homes. You know? Hanging out on the mountain, traveling around. Okay? This is going to tell you the grade level. It's going to tell you sentences that are complicated. It's going to tell you where's adverbs. It's going to tell you when you use passive versus active voice. Take your next Facebook post, take your next email you send, plug it in there, okay? Start using this stuff, you guys. Now I gotta get it clicked. And here's your format for getting an email clicked. I talked to you a little bit ago about the aesthetics. The, aste uh, the aesthetics of your copy matters, okay? And I want you to look at an email this way. An email really, if you were to break it down in thirds, top third, middle third, bottom third, guess how it's read? One, two, middle three. How many calls to action, if it is, if it is a conversion-based email, how many calls to action? Three. They're visiting three segments of my email. Get it? And guess what? You can put three calls to action if it's educational and informational, because if it's a video, that's going to be hyperlinked, but you're going to want to have uh, links in those other three sections. Make sense? See, all we do is just simple shit. You heat map emails. Heat map and watch how people behave. Okay? So here's what I want you to think about. Do you think that your copy at the very end of your email is more important than that in the middle? Yes or no? Trick question. It wasn't a trick question. 
People read the top third, the bottom third. See, these are the little pieces, you guys. I need you to consume my content because every time you consume my content, you make a micro commitment. And every time you make a micro commitment, okay, I'm building a bridge to you coming on over to my side, the dark side, baby. And it's dark. Stay away. Just kidding. Not really. So here's what you want to do, okay? What's in it for me? 140 characters. Well, do 140 characters and then put your image of your video there screenshot of your video make sure when you do post a video listen this form of sending video smokes bomb bomb don't abandon bomb 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 bomb's good for its one-offs here's the problem bomb bombs don't get delivered that well because the weight of the file a gif is a heavy file make sense so you want to reduce the size of that but send your image with, I mean, as many emails as you can send with video, that's why I'm getting those open rates. Britton even knows some of the people that got those open rates, and it was in a market he was in. And we've been doing this for years and years, and people be like, spam, spam, okay, I'll take my 48% email open rate and spam you again. <laughs> and you're number one. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Guys, see, don't listen to the bullshit. Really. I mean, people out there are trying to sell you stuff, you know? Here's what I want you to do. Remember this and write this down in life and with me. Question every freaking thing I, I, I share with you today. Question every bit of it by testing it. Question every bit of it by testing it, okay? So, you know, one of the things that I really don't like are theorists, okay? I can talk to you about video because that's me and that's 2 million views on a video. So last time I checked, I got some credibility to talk to you about on video. Right now, I want you to see my huge production company. Okay, you got it right. Yeah, this is my production company. Here's what I want you to think about, and I'm just getting a little bit brutal on you. This is what I need to do with people. I want you to think about someone really important in your life. I don't care if it's a, a mom, a dad, a significant other, or a child. Okay. In my case, right now, I have a child that I have a huge responsibility to. I do every day, but we're in a season right now. Okay. And I have to be able to provide some certain health care, okay, that I have to take care of. Okay? And this is how serious video is. If you're not willing to do it, you need to look at and think about that child, that significant other, that mother, whoever it may be that you've made a promise to of something you're going to do. If you grow your business at a certain level, you choose not to do video. I want you to go over to them and look at them. And I want you to visualize this when you're freaking afraid to put this thing on selfie mode and hit the red button. You know what I want you to think about? Looking in their eyes saying, I'm sorry, we're not going to do that. Because I'm a coward. There's no one in this room that's not where they want to be because they don't have the skills. Period. It's constantly stepping through a doorway of fear. I want you to hold that. Don't be a coward. Okay. With that said, I want to go into video here real quick. That doesn't make me wonderful. It gives me a little bit of credibility to talk about video. I use a video hosting company. I know I've done 3,400 videos that sit on my video hosting company. So it's not the guru that, let me tell you about video. Oh, let me tell you how it works here. Okay. You know, it's so funny, you guys. See, watch this. Here's where I want to help you. You're going to be extinct or distinct, okay? Right? Who's going to win in a matter of time? Text, email, call. Oh, really? I'm, I showed up to the gunfight. Text, email, call, video. Who's winning? I'm smoking your ass because you're missing 55% of the impact of communication. How much body language is in that email you're sending? How about that text? How about that phone call? That would be the inside of a Winchell's donut. Zero. I'm, tr I'm trying to help you out, man. Hey, I'm going to take you a little bit further, right? Huh. Nielsen Rating Company. This proves right here you're in a three-second world. This is why your headlines matter in an email, in a blog, in a subject line, in anything. You got three seconds. Nielsen Rating Company. Anyone familiar with those guys? Raise your hand. 
You are? Good. Okay? They're the ones that decide how much a Super Bowl ad cost. They were so freaking fascinated by video across social media, they studied it. And guess what? Mm, let's see. Three seconds of video consumed impacts purchase intent by 44%. Please keep, stop doing video. Listen, daughter, we're driving down the road. Dad, you need Botox. She's fucking right, man. <laughs> Lexi, you're lame. Well, it's just the truth, man. And it's okay, because dad, they call it Brotox. I'm not making it up. This is my daughter, okay? Listen, you know something? Brutal again. You're not as important as you think you are. No one's thinking about you. They're thinking about what you think about them. Oh, my hair. Oh, Let that stand in the way of your dreams. Because I don't know if, if the impact of communication, which just been freaking articulated to you, this 55% you're missing. Go ahead, you play the three-prong game. I'm going to kick your ass with the fourth prong all day long. And then in three seconds, impact on that ad recall only goes up 47%. Oh, but 10 seconds is 74%. And the impact on purchase intent goes up 72%. But keep not doing video. And I'm being a dick. I want to. Because then hopefully you'll remember it and do something about it. Guys, it's everything. You got to do it. Okay? What I want to help you with real quickly because it's, uh, oh, good. Okay, I want to help you with a couple things on your video. I'm going to give you some framework. All right? So, we've talked about the three-second rule, right? Okay, let's, let's do the interactive. Yes or no? I'm almost done. I'm almost out of your hair. Yes? Okay. So, watch this. And I'm not making fun of you. I'm helping you because, unfortunately, ding-dongs told you how to do video. They jacked you up. Okay? Listen, question shit. I mean, it's just so obvious, you guys. Okay, we're in a three-second world. Yes or no? Ooh, I like it. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Okay, when I let my hand down, I want you all to start counting. Okay, out loud. Ready? Hey, Facebook. Happy Saturday. Let's get some likes on here. Stop. Dickheads teach you to do that shit, too. Hey, greet everyone when they come on. Say hi to people. Hey, get, you know, get some thumbs. You guys, it's ridiculous. People are freaking, they're making you broke. They're stealing your money. It sounds good, so you'll buy my shit. It's bullshit. What is the most powerful time of a Facebook Live? When you're doing it or the thousand years later, it's running through the feed? Oh, who's going to wait through that freaking circus? Hey, Facebook. Happy Saturday. <laughs> fucking gong show. I mean, it's a gong show. Let me help you out because this is programmed in this too. I don't have TV in my home because I just, I want to perform at the highest level. I pulled it out of my home five years ago, okay? But this is still programmed in me. Ready? I want you to mirror it. Okay. 55-year-old man scales the Eiffel Tower and the dramatic results of the accident in the north part of town. Hey, everyone, it's John Chiplack with ABC News. And tonight at 5 p.m., we're going to give you the results on this, 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 and this. And one thing that will blow your mind about the San Diego Chargers. See you at 5. Bro, you're like a grammar troll, aren't you? <laughs> I don't have a TV. I don't know that shit. <laughs> no, I know that shit. Did you catch what I did? Stop introducing yourself. Hook them. You've got three seconds. Just like your subject line. Want shit quick from Amazon. It's we're programmed, okay? Hook them. Okay? Enter the conversation that's going on in their head right now. Then introduce yourself. I'll give you format. Number one, open with a hook. Open a loop of curiosity that talks to your audience. You can open a loop of curiosity with a bold statement. Go 
the real estate market dumps. Hey everyone, it's John Cheplak with ABC Real Estate. And in this video, talk to him like a second grader. In this video, I'm going to talk about this. Get it? And then at the very end, what did I just do? Train people how to behave. Train them to watch the whole freaking video. The future paced. Do you remember when I was talking about the San Diego, whoever the hell they are? <laughs> and the one thing about X that'll shock the daylights out you. You, see, you guys see the framework? Okay. Open a loop of curiosity. One, introduce yourself. Two, number three, Talk to them like a second or third grader. In this video, we're going to talk about X. And at the very end, future pace. Because the more, what happens when they slide down the dial of consuming more of your content? Purchase intent goes up. Their ad recall goes up. Right? Their authority goes up. And you win. Well, everyone uses, else is using cheesy dialogue. So uh, I'll share this with you guys. Hope that's helpful. Um, and I, I think that uh, what I want to leave you with is uh, I get a little bit aggressive because, you know, here's how I know how the, how the brain works. Man, he's got a dick. But then they say, but I remember that one thing. I'm trying to get you to remember stuff. I don't care if you like me. I'm not in the liking business. I'm in the trying to impact people's lives business. Here's what I know. It's why I continue to back, you know, as I'm away from, from my days of an operator and I get the privilege to work with amazing people like you in this room, I invest more today in coaching than I ever have in my life, like seven multiple of it on an annual basis. Because, you know, the truth is this, is I have responsibility to pass through to other people what others have generously given to me. And I have a responsibility to continue to expand that what you have a responsibility to do is go out and take freaking action and impact the lives of the people that matter to you. If you're a leader in this room, you have the freaking responsibility to go back and not only share with your people what you got from these amazing human beings, but you need to walk the talk too. Love y'all. Peace out.